Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi I'm Cassie and today I have another haul for you. Um, this time I have a haul from the range, just a small haul, but I wanted to come on and show you what I purchased. So if you are interested in seeing what I have bought on my shopaholic journeys to the range, please keep watching. Um, please also do remember to like, comment and subscribe and without further ado, let's get into it. So you guys may know that I am currently in the process of moving out of this room, moving into my new room, which is just downstairs. This is so that I can be on the same level as Alfie. Alfie's room will then be on my level. At the moment, I'm in the attic room. This is the attic conversion. Alfie's bedroom is currently downstairs. So I want to be on the same level as him. Obviously, if he wakes up, etc., he can then come into me, into my room, etc. Um... So enough about that. I am moving rooms and I'm gradually buying new things for my bedroom. The theme is like a blush pink sort of rose gold theme. So I'll show you along the way what I've purchased. But there's Halloween things mixed in here as well as like bedroom sort of home decor. So well, let's get into it, shall we? What do I show you first, guys? So excited. I am literally a shopaholic. Like this is why there's hauls on here, guys, because I just adore going shopping kind of wish i just had more money like if money wasn't a problem i would be shopping all day and also if anyone wants to like hire me as their, like, their personal shopper i'm here so first up is this beautiful pink cushion this was 6.99 which i really didn't think was too bad and it's just like a round um sort of statement pillow i guess i only bought one because my plan is to have like stacks of pillow and then this one as like the last one in the middle i'll pop a picture up once i've done my room at some point but this is really cute 6.99 and it's super super soft so this is like my theme like rose gold um sort of bling blush pink that sort of thing very feminine very girly this is my theme so that's pillow that i bought I've just realised like the majority of this haul is like Halloween stuff, but it doesn't matter. I also purchased these pearlescent shower lights. These are like the string lights that you can hang in your room. I don't know if I'm going to put it on the back of my bed or to hang in my room somewhere, but these were reduced. They were like £2, I think. I just thought they're very cute. So that was those. I also purchased a little photo frame. I always find like the photo frames from the range are like dirt cheap so you can get loads they're also an ideal christmas present like if you guys haven't thought about presents and things yet pictures are a great present for christmas so it just says happy in like scrabble letters um there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy so i thought maybe a family picture in there or a picture of me and alfie possibly or just alfie um but yeah i thought that was a lovely picture and that was like two pound again something really cheap so yeah, love that picture frame. Then I've got two more things and then the rest is all Halloween. So enjoy. So I bought the, they have like a really small W7 range in um, my local range. So this is the Peachy Clean Makeup Remover and Cleansing Balm. I haven't tried W7s. I haven't tried much of w 7s skincare. I've got like a blueberry um cleanser i think it is and that smells incredible really good um so oh my god do you know what that smells like it smells like um i don't know if anyone's ever had these before but i think when if you go to like lidl's they've got like these really chewy fruity sweets and it smells like those um i'm sure when i went on holiday maybe it was tenerife or I want to say Spain, but I've never been to Spain. But like that sort of area, they've got like these really chewy, fruity sweets. And they smell amazing. But yeah, that's what that smells like. So that's like a peachy cleansing, cleansing balm and makeup remover. So as you can see, it's like a solid cleansing balm. 
and again that was really cheap a couple of pound i can't remember exactly but not too expensive so i'm really looking forward to trying that and then last but not least in the just the normal stuff that i bought from the range um is this plaque this was 1.99 and i just thought how beautiful and really not expensive at all so it says grandma not a day goes by that i don't think of you um unfortunately my nan did pass away this year um she passed away in may and she has been buried so she's got a um burial plot where her headstone will be going up so i thought that that would be lovely to pop on her grave for her um and I just thought that was really sweet. So that's that one. I just realised actually this is not Halloween stuff. So I bought one of these big pink baskets. I've already got one this size. And then I've got one that's slightly smaller. So maybe like half this size. Um, this is usually where I store all of like my beauty products. Anything that I get like in a beauty box um, tends to go in here. However... Um, that box is overflowing completely so i've bought another one just so i can sort of even the load out a little bit so these are great buys um they are by a company called curva um i think this was about four pound 4.99 maybe but great for storage and then let's get into some halloween stuff shall we So they have these adorable pumpkin tea light holders. This one doesn't say a price, but I think this is about $1.99. Um, I really feel like I should have got two now because I've only got one, but that's really cute. I should put a little tea light in there for Halloween. It would be lovely. I also picked up some of the Halloween ribbon. Um, I tend to decorate the fireplace with this sort of stuff or like the cabinets in the front room i tend to decorate with this sort of ribbon so i bought that i think that was about 99p 1.99 maybe um i always thought they had the prices on these but they don't seem to but 2.7 meters so that'll do plenty i might even cut that up and sort of have it different areas maybe so that's that next up is a bowl this is a Halloween bowl. I'm probably just going to use this for like trick or treating sweets if we have any come around this year. This is 89p, um, and you can't go wrong really. Just a really cheap plastic bowl. Need I say more? So you could use this for like crisps or like if you're having a Halloween party, these would be great. You, they had different designs as well, but I just thought this one was quite cute with the little, 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 little <laughs> the little witches and the ghosts and things. So that's our trick-or-treat bowl this year next up i got one of their tumblers this year so it says get spooky on it it's got this really cute holographic design um i'm obsessed with these cups anyway obviously i've got several that i've bought from starbucks and things before um alfie also loves these cups to bits um they're really good because they're screw on lids so he can't pull them off um He's following his mother's footsteps in the Starbucks drinks and things. So that will probably get taken off me by Alfie, but he's got that. Next up, I bought a couple of Halloween signs. This was, again, doesn't say how much this was. I think this was like $1.99 or something. It just says Happy Halloween on there. I might stick that on the front door just to sort of, let kids know that we are doing trick-or-treating i know a lot of people in the art area don't participate in like halloween and trick-or-treating and things um which i completely get because we didn't used to now i have alfie i really want to get involved in halloween more and um, sort of decorating the house i'd love to take alfie trick-or-treating this year um i don't think i'll be able to do that in my local area because People just don't tend to do that here. Um, so I might have to drive to a different area in Worcester just to obviously take him trick-or-treating so we can experience that properly. Um, but yeah, I might pop this on the door just so people can see that we are celebrating Halloween. That was cute. I've also got a ton of Halloween stuff that I saved from last year. 
I bought a ton of Halloween stuff last year, but um, I did actually buy this sign last year, but unfortunately it broke. So I'm really glad that they're doing this again this year. So I've managed to buy this sign again, um, and that was 99p. So I'll probably hang that indoors. It just says boo. And then last, but by no means least, is probably my favourite purchase from the range is my Halloween gonk. How flipping cute is he? So these are shelf sitters apparently. Um, I don't know how much this was, 4 99 maybe 7 99 something like that. I just thought really, really cute. I'm absolutely adoring the gonks since last Christmas. So he's really cute and he's going to be going in my room just to decorate for Halloween, I think. Or I might even keep him, I might even keep him out all year round because he's that cute. But yeah, that's my gonk. And that is everything that I bought from the range, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please do remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you all again in the next video. Bye guys!